Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, November 27. It is for me 2.30 in the afternoon. That means it's already November 28 in India. I want to make a few <laughs> encouraging statements regarding problem 158, maybe not encouraging, but discouraging. So far, only two and a half people have the correct answer. That is really <laughs> a little bit of a shock for me. Truly, it's not a high school problem. And truly, it may be a little bit hard for main JEE exams. And surely, the problem is way too long for JEE advanced exams. But that's not so much the issue. The issue is not whether it is too long. The issue is, can people who prepare for JEE advance do this problem? And in my book, they all should be able to do this problem. Maybe my expectations are too high. Of course, I have the tendency to compare things with MIT standards. <laughs> they are uh, truly among the top of the world. And so maybe that may be a mistake on my part. At MIT, this material of 158 is not covered in the first year, but it is covered in the second year. And it is an institute requirement. An institute requirement means that anyone who goes to MIT, even if they want to major in economy, or biology, or English literature, or in chemistry, or in various forms of electronics, or engineering, <laughs> they all have to take 801, 802, and 803. Institute requirements. That means they all need a certain level of math. And then those who start majoring in history probably will never in their life need 801, 802, or 803 anymore, but that's not the issue. The issue is they came to MIT for a reason. And they know that when they come to MIT, there is a strong emphasis on science and on math, certainly the first three years. And of course, if you study physics or chemistry or math, then there is a huge emphasis on math. Let's leave it with that. So far, only two and a half correct solutions. <laughs> I'll give you another five days before I post my solutions.